When building apps with accessibility in mind, it's important to remember that not everybody interacts with their device the same way. In this episode, we'll focus on Switch Access, a service that allows people with limited dexterity to interact with their device using Switch devices. When Switch Access is enabled with a Switch, the Switch sends key events to the device, allowing users to navigate and perform actions by pressing buttons on the Switch device. For this video, we'll look at how to repurpose the volume keys to act like a switch so that you can test your apps with switch access. If you're interested in setting up a switch for your Android device, we've also linked more detailed instructions below. All right, let's start by going into the accessibility settings page to turn on switch access. This is the first time switch access is turned on for the device. You may be prompted to set up a USB or Bluetooth switch. If you don't have a switch device, but still want to set up the service for testing purposes, you can exit out of this screen, go into the switch access settings screen, and then assign switches for scanning. On the screen to assign switches for scanning, select the next option, press the volume down key, and tap save. Then for the select option, hold down the volume up key to assign it as the switch control input, and then tap save. Now that we set up the volume keys as navigation actions, let's test navigation on an example app. Here, we've opened up our favorite task tracking app. Using the volume down button, we can navigate to different elements in the app. Once the element we're interested in is highlighted, we can then use the volume up button to select it. For items with a simple click action, for example, the floating action button here, selecting the item will be the same as performing a tap action on it. However, if the item has custom accessibility actions available, such as the individual list items, the user will then be presented with the different actions they can take on the item. If you want to refresh your own custom accessibility actions, check out the custom accessibility actions video that's also part of this playlist. You'll also notice that with switch access enabled, there is now a menu button on the top of the screen. When selected, this menu button opens a global menu with various navigation options. Some actions, such as back and home, are equivalent to gestures on the device's screen and are especially important to include in end-to-end -end testing. For example, you should test the back button behavior on the various screens in your app to ensure that it behaves as expected. Other options, such as the enable or disable auto select, controls whether or not the custom actions menu we saw earlier is shown when the item is selected. If you want to check out details about the other navigation options in this menu, We've included a helpful link in the video description below. Now that you've learned more about Switch Access, be sure to use it to test your app to ensure that all users can have the same experience within your app.